now the world's listening. He's a professor at this stage. So one day we're going to get Keith the trainer. Yes. You sure, Mike? When you supposed to train your own, you know, sibling, uh, not sibling, but if you had a son, would you, you don't want him to box. If that's I'm going to have If I had a son, he's going to be reading books. <laughs> You know, I'd show him a few things, let him get into it if that's what he wanted, but I would never force it upon him. If I had a girl, I wouldn't have to think about it. It might just be in his blood, Keith. You gravitated to it. The funny thing is, there's a few pictures of my little nephew, you know. Me and my sister look alike as babies. And her baby looks practically just like me as a baby. And he was in the gym over the weekend. I was shadow boxing. He was following me around and he started trying to move his feet and move his hands around. So we already got a young, young blood in the family that might Lace these gloves up real soon. Yeah. I think we can bring it down, Pete. The bad? It's shaking. <laughs> it's shaking. Any favorite combinations? Yeah. I say my favorite. I'm not really able to do on this bag. That's probably my favorite combo. Four right down the pipe. One from underneath. <clears throat> show some of that teardrop? Yeah, I'll show you the okay. Keith Thurman's favorite combo coming up right here. Being in the ring, feeling that left hook right there, making them feel another one. One more, they start realizing, damn, I need a block. <laughs> then they block one, I go, congratulations. Then they block two, I go, now I got you doing what I want you to do. And they never block that one. They never block that one. That's the purpose of it. It's a progression where we make you tighten up. We make you pick up the phone. And then we go right up the middle. favorite combination of Keith One Time Thurman at the St. Pete Boxing Gym Media Workout Day. It's going down. Keith, what's your thoughts on your opponent's workouts and how public they are? Like today, obviously, it's a media workout. You know, they, they do exhibition sparring, and they, sparring is always on the internet of them. I mean, when they were fighting Kelbrook, they sparred in front of Kelbrook. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's their style, you know? When I played football, we had a motto, right? It went, when Tampa Bay is 4-1, you know Mike Allstott's getting the ball. It doesn't mean you can stop Mike Allstott, you know? So that's how sports are, man. You know, I can tell you I'm going to knock you out with a left hook. It don't mean you can stop it, you know? So obviously, they're just confident, man. It's just pure confidence. 
they're gonna do them. Nothing's gonna stop them from doing them. And they think they can put whatever out there and it's not gonna play an effect on the outcome of the match, you know? They're showing the world that they're prepared and they're prepared to show them what they're bringing to the table ahead of time. That's their choice. We're a little bit more closed circuit in here and that's our choice. Keith, just to build upon that question, the exhibition fight that uh, Porter put on on the internet uh, when the fight was called off, did you, yeah. did you watch that and what were your thoughts no. on that? No, I did not watch it. But, Ironically enough, he was sparring an old sparring partner of mine. We, we've had him in camp. But like I said, in my sparring camps, nobody's doing 12 rounds with the champ. You know? We only allow people to do uh, four, possibly uh, no more than five or six sometimes if one partner can't make it. We got to get 12 rounds in. Then we have two partners doing six rounds each. So, you know, and I'm, I'm pretty sure the spawn partner even said it. Sean made him lose weight for the, you know what I mean? Sean made him lose weight. I think Sean probably paid him, you know. You know, they put on a legitimate form of an exhibition, but obviously the, uh, the opponent wasn't Keith Thurman. The opponent wasn't even in uh, 12 round strength and conditioning. The so, opponent looked like that punching bag. And then there you go, you know. So obviously, that's not going to prepare him for Keith Thurman, man, but, you know. He's been training hard. We know that. And we're prepared. When I, uh, when I sparred Sean, you know, we were using 20 ounce gloves. I'm pretty sure these are my 18s. Ever since I was 16 years old, I've been training in 18 ounce gloves. One, to protect myself, and two, for the opponents.